Kolo, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Shalom to the house of David, the church of the saints. I just want to play this clip because I'm watching this with the spirit, just thinking like, you know, this is our profession, the Spartan clip. He asks, what is your profession? Now, our profession is this truth, man. This is our job. Number one is our job. Not, not where you get paid eight to four, nine to five. That's slavery. This is our job, you know? That's why the Esau slavery, man. We are prisoners of hope, you know. So this is our, this is the truth. This is what we fight for. This is our love, our passion. Is this truth? The truth of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, teaching the sheep. That's our profession. That is our passion. And we are professors, you know. We're teachers. Scripture says, "We shall make you a nation of kings and priests." You know, that's the times that we're living in. So basically, I just want to play this clip. It's powerful. Just pushes out. We want to push this vib vibration out, you know, because. The kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. You know? We gotta repent and get ourselves right. Only the elect are gonna get are gonna be written in the book of life. But we at that time now where the Lord's gonna rebuild the tabernacle of David that has fallen. You can see right here looks like it's two uh groups, you know. The Lord's rebuilding that tabernacle of the northern and southern kingdom coming together as one, you know. I'm gonna play this clip. Dark sauce. What a pleasant surprise. This morning's full of surprises, Leonax. We've been tricked. Not be more than 200. This is a surprise. Silence! We heard Sparta was on the warpath. We were eager to join forces. If it is blood you seek, you're welcome to join us. Would you bring only this handful of soldiers against Xerxes? See, I was wrong to expect Sparta. Like with Gideon, man. The times with Gideon. The most I don't need a lot of men. I think it was down to 300. From 10,000 to 300. Story, yeah, the story we're getting was down to 300. So we're going to bring that out. Um, you know what? I'm going to judge as one. The Lord don't need a lot of a lot of men. You know what I'm saying? We're going to bring, we're going to bring you an example of what the Lord did, man. You know? That the Lord don't need the Lord don't need a whole bunch of men. He don't need a whole gang of men. He, 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 he chooses always a small amount. To, to come against the masses like David and Goliath, man. You know? Uh, Judges 7 and uh, 2. And the Lord said unto Gideon, The people that are with thee are too many for me to give the Midianites into their hands. Least Israel vaunt themselves against me, saying, My own hand have saved me. You see? That's why it's only a few, like 144,000. That's a few. The elect men, they're going to rule with Yahweh Shai, 12,000 at each tribe. That's very few. But the Most High does that what? To show His power. It's all about glorifying Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Shock value, man. Theatrics. Now therefore go to proclaim in the ears of the people, saying, Whosoever is fearful and afraid, let him, let him return and depart early from Mount Gilead. And there return of the people twenty and two thousand. And there, were, and there remain ten thousand. It's heavy because of Leonidas. Yeah, they, they get that from this scripture too, man. You know, Gideon those three goes down to three hundred. We're gonna keep reading. And the Lord said unto Gideon, The people are yet too many. Bring them down unto the water, and I will try them for thee for there, and it shall be that of whom I say unto thee, This shall go with thee, the same shall go with thee, and of whomsoever I say unto thee, I say unto thee, This shall not go with thee, the same shall not go. So he brought down the people onto that's what the Lord doing now. He's rebuilding the tabernacle of David, man. You know, he's rebuilding that tabernacle that has fallen, he's building it back up. So he brought up down the people. So the Most High, he has his already military already set, predestined already. He's going to give his like men, the mighty men, spiritual powers, man. The house of David, the King David, the mighty men that was with him. And we're living some exciting times, man. So he brought down the people onto the water. And the Lord said unto Gideon, everyone that lappeth off the water, off the water with his tongue as, as a dog lappeth, him shall thou set by, set by himself. Likewise, everyone that boweth down upon his knees to drink. And the number of them that lapped, putting their hand to their mouth, were three hundred men. But all the rest of the people bowed down, bowed down upon their knees to drink water. See, there was alert because when you're drinking, you're watching for the enemy. You're looking straight forward, watching for the enemy. When you're bowing down, the enemy can approach and, if it, and come into the camp. And the number of them that lapped, putting their hand onto the mouth, were three hundred men. But all the rest of the people bowed down upon their knees to drink water. And and the Lord said unto Gideon, because the three hundred was on point. <laughs> Like this clip right here. And the Lord said unto Gideon, By the three hundred men that lap, 
will I will I save you and deliver the Midianites into thy hand? Show you the most I already know who's going to win. And let all the people go, every man, unto his place. So the people took victuals in their hand and their trumpets. And he, and, and he sent all the rest of Israel, every man, into his tent and retained those 300 men. And the host of Midian was beneath him in the valley, showing you the Most High does whatever the hell he wants to do. The Most High does whatever that he wants to do, man. Most High already said, all right, boom, these 300 men are going to be yours, and I'm going to deliver the Midianites onto you. See? So the Most High is the, the director of this movie. Let's not forget this. Yeah, how are you? How is shy? They're the directors of the movie. We're just characters, man. Let's not forget this. My thoughts ain't your ways. My, my thoughts ain't your thoughts. My ways ain't your ways, man. The Most High's mind is just forget about it, man. We know we're probably prophesying part. So we can never forget that, man. It's the Most High's movie. So we at the end of this thing, man. This thing, this thing's gonna build up. And these devils are scared. That's why they're infiltrating, trying to infiltrate the camps, putting agents, taking our videos, erasing all our videos, giving back to us, and all this tapping into brothers' videos, all the brothers, and just messing around with their videos, shutting sites down. That's okay though, because the word of the Lord is still gonna go up, and the tabernacle of David is still gonna be rebuilt, built up. Because the scripture said the Lord says so. Your two, your hands are too short to box with God. It's commitment to at least match our own. Doesn't it? You. Yeah. What is your profession? I'm a potter. And you, Arcadian, what is your profession? Sculptor, sir. And you, blacksmith. Those are like the men that bow down to drink water. On their, they bow down, they had their head down. Bound to drink water. And Leonidas and them are the 300 that were given to Gideon. You see that? So all you need is a bunch of uh, raw lions, real lions, man. Forget about numbers. The Lord don't deal with numbers. He just needs a few good men. Spartans! What is your profession? <laughs> the truth. The truth, the truth, the truth. That is our profession. You see, old friend, I brought more soldiers than you did. You see that? That's the Lord, man. That's the Lord. It's the Lord's rebuilding the house of David, man. That's the times that we're living in. Call Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Shalom to the house of David. Men, women, and children that consist of the elect, the church of the saints. The saints shall come marching in. Exodus 15 and 3, the Lord's a man of war. Daniel 7 chapter. The saints shall take the kingdom. We're going to take the kingdom. It's going to be beautiful. Hey, you he got he that song, Kiyo, God, Come With Me. <laughs> P. Diddy. Yeah, that's how it's going to be, man. Yahweh Shai, the king of kings, is going to lead the charge. And behind him is going to be King David and the mighty men. 144,000, the house of David, better than I, Joab, you know, the mighty warriors. Uriah the Hittite. The mighty man that was with David. We got the end of this thing, man. Fuck this devil. This devil, it's his time to be afraid. The Lord's going to give us that power to glorify our power, man. The one and true and only living power. The God of the Israelites, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Anglo Saxons, angelic sons of Isaac. Ye are gods. Yahshua Allah. He is a prince of power. Something that this world's going to see and they're going to respect and reverence our power, our big brother, our Lord and Savior. He's coming back for revenge. He's coming back for blood. Shalom.